Hello guys, this is Raj Aktab and we are uh, on day 2 now of the 30 days of code challenge by Hacker Rank and this is actually day 1 data types so we level up from the previous video and the previous challenge now that we have learned the basic input and output we move on to data types so we are going to discuss the numerous data types uh, discussed in this challenge so the task here is that we have to declare three variables uh, one is of type int one is of type double and one is of type string don't worry i'm going to teach you what these types basically are uh, so we have to read three lines of input from standard in and then we have to in initialize uh, the three variables that we declare initialize basically means that we have to give uh, a certain value to our variables now that uh, after doing that we have to use the plus operator to perform the following operations we have to print the sum of i plus our variable uh, the sum of the double d and the double variable that we are going to assign and concatenate i know that's a hard word yeah concatenate concatenate s with the string you read as input and print the result on new line so basically we have to declare three variables we have to input them uh, and then we have to perform certain uh, operations all the operations can be done using the operator plus all right so this is the sample input and output so let's see what the stop code here is so they've already declared and initialized three variables integer i is assigned to 4 double d is assigned to 4.0 and string s is assigned to hacker rank all right so let's just dive into the concept now all right so the data structure that we are learning in this challenge are int double and string so int is basically used uh, to represent a, no a number a smaller number the size of int is uh, 4 bytes which is 32 bits so the range of int is minus is from minus 2 raised to 31 to 2 raised to 31 i don't think uh, the information is uh, significant here so yeah so basically int is used to represent smaller uh, integers and it cannot be used to represent a decimal number but what can be used is double so double is slightly bigger it has 8 bytes not slightly it, it's like a lot bigger than integer it has 8 bytes and it can take in decimal values as well and string string is basically a sequence of characters so a string can can be this or a string can be uh, this sentence as well so the input method of string is a little bit trickier than the input method of int and double so so let me show you with an example now all right so c in c so whatever the input will be will be saved in the variable c all right and we'll just print whatever is there in c okay all right so let me just save this and let's run it okay let me give it an input called hacker so hacker will be printed here so this is the normal scene but but if i give it an input uh, like a sentence if i gave it this input let's see what it does so only this is printed why because a white space is encountered here and whenever it encounters a white space uh, it the c in function just stop just stops get just stops getting the input so only this is taken as input and it is saved in c so only this is printed but what can be done is we can use what we used in the previous video basically we can use get line so c in comma c can be used all right so let's see what happens now
this is a string okay so this is a string is wait oh sorry c out c okay now it's fine let me run it now okay let me give it an input this is a string okay now this is a string is printed and yeah so this is what i wanted to tell you okay now we are ready to proceed to the challenge so let's go head on to it all right so here we are uh, in the challenge let's solve it then so the first task we have to perform is declare second integer double and string variables so three variables have already been defined i've told you that so let's declare a second integer let it be a a isn't used before so we can declare the integer a uh, now let's declare a double its name is it as b and let's declare string c so read and save an integer double and string to your variables okay so to read and save an integer double and string the command the function that we use is cin so cin a the integer will be inputted because the input first is of an integer right so and then we have we can we can use this in continuation so this operator can be used in continuation and then we can write b so first the integer will be inputted and then b will be inputted and but uh, but because c is a, a complete line we cannot uh, input that in continuation for that we have to use the function get line get line c in comma c so now the statement is inputted the line is inputted all right so we have read and save this uh, integer double and string to our variables okay so the next thing that we do with that we have to do is print the sum of both integer variables on a new line all right to do that we can simply type c out and i plus a okay in brackets i plus a that's it and to skip the the same line and to to continue the output on the next line what we have to use is remember from the previous video it's end l all right so this task is done now print the sum of double variables on a new line to do that now this is important c out okay let me show you what mistake i had done when i uh when i did this first time so what i did is i directly wrote d plus b d plus b and then i did end in yeah so this is what i did the first time i attempted this now concatenate and print the string variables on a new line concatenate so what we have to do is uh whatever input that we have been given we have to print it next to this string hacker rank so the input is this is the input is the best place to learn and practice coding so what we have to do is first print hacker rank and then we have to output whatever is given to us so what we do is c out first we have to write hacker rank so s plus c so what this will do is it will first print the string s and then it will attach the string c to it so hacker rank will be followed by is the best place to learn and practice coding so i think we are done and you think we are done so let's see uh, if it works let's run the code now 
all right so your sample test case 0 has been failed so what went wrong so we have two mistakes here the output on the second line should be 8.0 it's only 8 and the output on line 3 should be hackerang is the best place to learn and practice coding which is just hackerang for us so what went wrong okay so here is the first mistake whenever you have to input a decimal value the thing that you have to do is write fixed and then set precision in brackets 1 and now let's run the code and see if it works all right so 8.0 is printed now so i think yeah yeah so the output is correct so what does fixed and set precision do so fixed uh, just fixes the number of decimal places that will be printed and set precision and in bracket one so only one decimal place after the decimal point will be printed so this is very very important and this is a takeaway from this challenge another takeaway take, takeaway that we can uh, have here is that we saw in the previous challenge that we had no problem using it line c in comma c but this challenge we have a problem because the input is on the third line so what we cannot see here is a slash n a backslash n so get line when reading the input uh, stops when it encounters a white space or slash n so to get around that problem we have to use c in ws which is white space so it eliminates the white, white space and it starts the input from wherever uh, a character uh, is given so now let's test the code now okay sample test case 0 is passed and our output is correct let's submit the code and see if it passes all the test cases and yes it passes all the test cases and we have successfully done it guys congrats okay so i'll see you guys in the next video thank you